So how many times can Nunu expose herself in one month? Let's talk about it. Another one. Battle Booth is half, half a gang on the low. Be half a gang on the low. I'm and I'm I'm Battle Booth gang, so y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it is. The Battle Booth. If you look him up, y'all go subscribe to his channel. can't you just like somehow find a way to stay out of this energy you know how come you can't manage to find your way out of being involved in some type of controversy like i don't understand it how nunu can remain like in controversy in controversy like in general bro like i just don't get it i just don't understand i mean i did make a video before right and I compiled only a few situations, controversial situations that Nunu's been a part of that might be a reason that she's still constantly experiencing, you know, controversial things and being a part of situations that she has no business being a part of. And it's just like, it's confusing. It's like, yo, what is going on? Why is Nunu's name always involved in something, bro? And the thing is... It's because Nunu be capping, bruh. That's the thing. Like, this is one of the points that I tried to make in one of my previous videos when it was breaking down the reasons that Nunu's going through that whole Beasley situation. I tried to explain that it's really the things that Nunu does and that she puts out there. It's really her own fault, the things that happens to her. It really, really is. There's no other explanation as to why Nunu's constantly an example. Let me just give y'all one example. Salute to Norbs, man. Just uploaded a video just recently, just not even that long ago, probably like 30, 45 minutes ago. And he's addressing something that Nunu Nels had said on a podcast recently. Nunu Nels was saying that when she got on his show, you know what I'm saying? When she got on his show and blah, 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 she's the one that got it popping or whatever the case was and blah, blah, blah. Pretty much trying to maintain, right, this narrative that Norbs, in fact, did not have anything to do with Nunu Nell's involvement with the URL, right? There's a constant, there's a constant fight or a constant push for this narrative to stick. The reason being is because Norbs, obviously, is currently involved in some kind of situation with the url to where you know there's the court is involved laws and whatever the case is so obviously right there has to be this constant push for this narrative that norbs didn't have anything to do with the success or the rise of the url it's so plain and simple it's as plain as day to see that that's what the objective is now nunu nails being somebody who wants to be and remain in good standing with the URL, wants to be a part of the URL, and wants to be on the team and all that, has to almost do things like that, say things like that. For example, I don't know if y'all remember the short clip that I showed y'all, Hip Hop is Real, when Nunu Nels was addressing the whole Norb situation, right, and talking about the fact that she'd be surprised if Norbs gets $40, and blah, 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 just this whole thing. So we constantly ask ourselves, we're constantly, well, yo, why is Nunu Nels constantly involved in drama, in controversy? And it's because Nunu Nels be capping, bro. That's the issue that Nunu Nels finds herself in, bro. She's either capping or she's finding herself involved in a situation that she probably shouldn't be in, which reflects negatively on her. And whatever the case is, like... <sighs> <clears throat> now, how did you get a part of a uh, battle rap arena? I know they were looking for a girl. I remember yeah, I actually, Norris um, telling me that. Norris put it on Instagram. He put, um, I'm He's asking her, how did she become a part of battle rap arena? 
right? This is just one clip that Noah's uploaded along with his video. And here she's explaining in detail how it went down. Norbs put up a post. Norbs this. Norbs that. Norbs this. Norbs that. This is old. This is older footage, and this is what I mean about the whole capping situation. Like there's multiple instances where we can see Nunu Nels is clearly admitting and letting us know exactly how she got put on. Exactly who was responsible, Norbs. Exactly who show was it, Norbs. Exactly who was it that reached out to her, Norbs. Like it was. But then you have footage like what you see on 15 Minutes of Fame, right? With her completely defaming Norbs, talking about, oh, I'd be surprised if he gets $40, blah, 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 and this, that, and the fifth, and blah, 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 blah. That's, that's the, these are the reasons that Nunu is involved in controversy constantly. And what that means is that if Nunu does that type of thing, that just means that that's how she is as a person. Which makes sense as to why she would be involved with controversy with so many other people as well. And not just Norbs. It's because this actually, this shows like how Nunu's playing this out and how she's deciding to go about this whole thing. Really says a lot about her character. Which says even more about, oh, so it makes sense about what was happening with her and Miss Hustle. Her and this person, her and that person. And whoever she has an issue with because we can see... It's documented. We can see the type of individual that Nunu actually is. For female co-hosts, we are a battle rap arena. Now, it's already a battle rap arena, but they do it over the phone. But they wanted someone to sit in for the Friday show. Quaystar, um, she was a part of Queen, right? She's the first girl that tagged me in it. After that, so many battle rappers just started tagging me. Male battle rappers. Everybody started tagging me in his post. So... I had reposted it. So I'm like, you know what? Y'all show Norbs is real that y'all want me on the show. Give me 150 to 200 likes. And he'll see it and maybe I can get a spot. Maybe I can get a spot. Maybe I can get a spot. Because there were other girls that was... Maybe I can get a spot. Maybe I can get a spot. So she had a goal or an intention of getting a spot. She had the goal in mind or the intention in mind that this could be my in. This could be my, my entry into the URL, into the battle rapper. So Norbs was responsible for Nunu even becoming a part or entering into that culture, that surrounding, that environment. Nunu herself just said that she was watching and she was like, but then again, Nunu's the type to then do an interview with knowledge on hip hop is real. And completely defame Norbs, right? And talk about he don't even deserve $40, though. How, though? When he was the person responsible for getting, for being your entry into Battle Rap, how does this man not even deserve $40? And I keep saying that $40 thing because that's the only part that I remember from that video. But she was saying a lot negatively about the person who put her on to the URL. <laughs> Bruh. Yo, just recently I seen a post, and I don't know why this just reminded me of that, but bruh, apparently uh, DC Young Fly, do you shout out, salute to DC Young Fly, um, that skinny, that skinny black dude that's on uh, Wildin' Out with Nick Cannon, he's been in mad movies, funny, you know, y'all know who DC Young Fly is, man. DC Young Fly was offered, I guess, like eight digits. Like, this is more than seven figures, like eight figures, like, this is like a billion dollars to host Wildin' Out, to be the new host of Wildin' Out. Pretty much Viacom was trying to get Nick Cannon up out of here. I remember that whole situation when Nick Cannon went crazy, made a lot of remarks on the internet that they didn't go over well with the those people that own Viacom and things like that, right? And guess what DC Young Fly did, bro? It was probably kind of crazy to make the choice that he made, but... He didn't take it, bro. He felt as if, though, Nick, being somebody who afforded him the opportunity to even be where he is, he can't step on Nick's toes like that, bro. And that's for a billion dollars plus. Nunu, we got Nunu, who is constantly defaming, decrediting, like, like taking away credit. And all this to somebody who put her on to where she is today, bro. 
There's just some things in life, bro, that just don't make any sense, but do make sense. I mean, the only reason that it does kind of make a little bit of sense is because Nunu wants to be on the side, on, on, on the good side of URL. She's built her relationships with URL. She's become a URL person, a URL employee over the course of time. That's just what happened. She grew with the URL. She became attached to the URL. So it only makes sense that Nunu would be in defense of the URL when it comes to talking about Norbs' position or what Norbs did. You know what I'm saying? And it going to court. It only makes sense that that would be the case. But it just sucks, man. And it just shows why Nunu's constantly involved in some kind of controversy, bro. That's just... Pick me, pick me. And they're pretty hot. So I'm like, dang, this might not work. But I know I always, I always, like, me and Norbs, we go to the same event. So we always spoke. Like, I, Norbs always showed love. So he didn't talk much at battles. Like, he's like, you know, he don't really say much there. But we were always cool. Like, it was, I always was able to talk to him. So it was just like, this, this was going on for probably about two days. That day, I don't know if I called him or he called me. I think he called me and he was like, are you serious? This is, is in New Jersey. Like, will you be able to travel? I, no, I, I don't want you to be late. Like, he's big on time. He wants you to be like an hour before the show starts. So I'm like, I can make it. Like, I make my own schedule at work. So it just went from there. And um, now I'm on URL Battle Arena. Norms, he runs the Smash URL. That's the, the guy brand. Yeah, he's just said Norbs. He represents Smack URL. Blah, blah, blah. And he was looking for co-hosts for Battle Rap Arena. It was a youth thing show. Um, they would go live. And I had like 800 followers at that time. And people were texting. The point is, man. Nunu. Nunu. I think Nunu should fall back on... On certain situations, man, because there's certain situations that are making her look like like she's not a very honest person, like she's not a very trustworthy person. For example, this whole thing playing out, like her taking a, a complete opposite stance on Norb's situation now than she was that she was taking not that long ago. You know, that type of thing makes you look very dishonest, and. Somebody like me, right? I have to be able to see the honesty. I have to be able to see that you have integrity. You know what I'm saying? That you have morals, that you have ethics, that you have, and you live by certain principles, right? And that you, you're you genuine and you're authentic. You know what I'm saying? If you don't show, you don't demonstrate those things, like you're not somebody that personally I can rock with. I mean, I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of people that do rock with, you know, new, new, regardless of the situation, but... I can't rock with the disingenuous personality traits, you know, and the fact that Nunu can say this one thing about something and then just say the complete opposite thing about it just because she feels differently about it now. Like, that's... If Nunu were to remain, right, in her stance that she was taking in all these interviews and all these videos, which was Norbs was, you know, responsible for putting me on and you know, I do appreciate and thank Norbs for having been a part of putting me on, you know what I'm saying, and, and blah, say blah, you know what I'm saying, then maybe it'd be like, all right, that's, that's cool, you know what I'm saying, Nunu is a, a, a genuine, you know, like, authentic type person, and she's, but nah, bro, that's not what happens at all, and I'm just pointing it out, I'm just pointing it out to people, you know what I'm saying, it's like, yo, we see what Nunu was saying about Norbs, and then, Norbs falls out with the URL, and now all of a sudden, Nunu's saying all the complete opposite of everything that she's been preaching for the past however so many years. That Norbs was, in fact, responsible for her getting on the show and doing this and affording the opportunity and blah, blah, blah. None of that is stated anywhere now, presently. So let me know what y'all think, man. You already know what it is, man. Sure.